this particular area where we had the uh, triple murder on Sunday, I think it was Sunday, yes, sir. Sunday uh, um, is, you know, I wanted to visit, I actually spoke to the parents of some of the people who the got shot. Now, this is an area that hasn't had a problem for some time in terms of violence. What we're seeing is this being uh, ongoing gang conflict playing out here. And we saw that what, what I got briefed on is a series of reprisals. So, you know, in which you know, mothers have been killed, uh, cousins, friends of gangsters, and they go back and forth. Now, this doesn't appear to be that. They just came into the community because somebody was killed elsewhere and shot in the saw. So, Some our intelligence, I think I'd said it at the, the uh, press conference, uh, on which our intelligence has led us to specific individuals who were having, um, obviously at this point, the investigation is at its, really at its infancy, but we will be putting out, I think we have put out some already as persons of interest in the matter to kind of assist us with this, um, and we will go after them, we will get them. Bless up all of my viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the channel. So this morning's story, we're not going to really take up the time with too much introduction because we already know already, we have been telling already if you subscribe, like, share and comment. So we don't really want to stick around too long. So Mr. Marlon Samuels, yeah man, the CM security for Mr. Roger Clark, we get taken out in a little accident. They have renamed a gym in his honor. So, we are going to hear what the story says. Jim renamed in honor of policeman formerly assigned to Clark. The close protection officer previously assigned to the Minister of Finance, Dr. Nigel Clark, who perished in a three-vehicle collision a year ago, was recently recognized with a Jim name in his honor. The Jim is located at the headquarters of the Protective Service Division in Kingston, where he was assigned up to his untimely death. It was officially named on June the tree. His window, his widow, Stacy Smith, was very pleased with the recognition given to her deceased husband. She believes the gym will continue the legacy and kindness which he portrayed. Marlon was the people's person, a family man, a family man, man, people's person. He was indeed a good man. One day, Marlon was in the building or anywhere around you. You would feel his presence because you are always hearing him talking. He made you smile, Smith said. She recalled how her late husband took his job very, very, very seriously and admit that sometimes she would question him if the police force came before his family. So viewers, this man was a family man, no doubt about it. But you don't, you don't know sometimes the wife them always complain and say yo the work come before but it's not that so the work come before now it's just that the work i will bring in the meal on the table clark recall smith was always giving and the day before he died he recalled marlon's kindness where he went out, out went out of his way and bought him lunch just to ensure that he ate smith died tragically on June the 24th of last year while leading a convoy in Trelawney 
when the vehicle he was driving ran off the road. Yeah, my viewers, it was a very, very shocking situation. For Sisse, such a good man, lost them life in the line of work, but your memories live on in the police force. Your memory lives on between your wife and your family. So, viewers, just be safe. Here we have another interesting topic on top of the morning where we can see Mira of Mandeville Donovan Mitchell. So right now we are get to understand so the Mira of Mandeville walk away from politics. So viewers, we are gonna give you another story. So let us read. Mayor of Mandeville and chairman of the Manchester Municipal Corporation, Donovan Mitchell, says he will not be seeking re election in the port the royal flat division when the local government polls are called mitchell told the news on tuesday during an interview at his mandeville home that he will be stepping away from representational politics due to health issues and other reasons i decide to give it a break this time for real i am not seeking re-election when the next local government election is called. I don't know what the future holds. Probably somebody might call and say, Donovan, run again, do a last one, he said. Mitchell, 55, said, unlike his previous move last year when he tendered his resignation as mayor but later withdrew it, he has already advised People's National Party PNP of his decision. When I gave the resignation, there was some consolation and I was asked to re-track and at least to sit out the term because it would have created some unbalance in the council and some other problems and so I have indicated to the general security of the party recently that I do not intend to run back, but I am sitting out this term, he said. So viewers, Mr. Donovan decide for walk away. Your man in turn 55 and now is a hell of a man. Well, not a hell of a man, not really old. 55 not really that old, but him same kind of have some illness problem. You don't know, so you have to be strong and hearty in politics. You, know, you have to run up and down, you have to dip and convey, you have to dip and this bag of shaking up, and you have to show power, you have to show whatever the next one name. Some of you viewers, leave your comment down below in the comment section. What do you think? Some of you viewers, Justin, we have some more details on the 22 Milan robbery in East Kingston. Management of the security company has come out to provide further information about the incident in which the guards were held up and robbed of over 22 million by gunmen in East Kingston. Police reports that a group of guards was in fact traveling through Rallington Town when the vehicle reported they developed mechanical problems and while it was being repaired for armed robbers. Four armed robbers drove up and held up the group members and stole the cash. Source claim the guards were traveling in a pro box motor vehicle management of the company has however declined to comment on the make of the vehicle. We are aware of the robbery involving the beryllium vehicle in Rallington town on wednesday june the 8th we can confirm that around 22 million was stolen from the vehicle which was undergoing some emergency repairs at the time the release date present were a mechanic and three of the personnel two were armed to our knowledge four armed robbers were involved in the incident. A representative from the company said in release, stop right there. First, when we got the information, we heard that it was one lone armed gunman 
stick up the vehicle, check out the bag, make their escape. Then we get another report saying, the one man come, check out the bag, two other from the vehicle drove up to the front and told the guards, don't move. So we are getting a lot of mis misinformation. But let us continue. Officials from the company said all the vehicles used transport cash and the accompanying of guards meet global security standards. Berlinium Limited provides support for high value and high risk process such as transportation of cash while robberies do not commonly accord they do from a part of exposure of cash management and our company is well prepared for such entities the company said we remind last but not least the employees run in different direction leaving the arm chop behind the assailants manage to flee the scene with over 22 million Jamaican dollar investigations are ongoing, the police released. So, the security guards were armed, but yet still they run away from the vehicle in different direction. Viewers, leave your comments down below in the comment section. We don't want to stress this matter too much, and we don't really want to put things where it wasn't don't want to give no wrong information so we leave it to the viewers to decide what you think about the whole situation so viewers just leave your comments down below in our comment section and tell us what you think about this situation that we are now getting into so viewers just continue to like share comment and subscribe turn on post notification bell anti-gang task force to engage school children the joint anti-gang task force recently launched at the intervention program which targets school children particularly those who are involved in criminal activities speaking earlier this week inspector Cheyenne Mitchell communication laser at the task force says more children are getting involved in criminal activities we start a school visit scheduled where we visit some of our schools that will more likely be at risk of being infiltrated by gangsters or gang and we have started our intervention meaning have our pep talk with the kids and we look at a way to have them support the security force instead so we look at alternative strategies where they can now participate in the crime fighting as opposite to joining gangs and being a part of criminal activities he said that's not a bad look that's a very good look the anti-task force but you don't know so they may pick me and go tell you point blank say them now uh, come turn the police because police are in pharma and this and that but you have some of the kids them who really and truly will look forward for you so any of my videos just leave your comments down below in the comment section